Hello everyone. So let's try to uh, solve this question. After intubation, the color change of the CO2 detector would indicate successful intubation. The CO2 detector displayed in the picture indicates. So what do you guys think? What's the color there? Take a look at it and uh, pause the slide and think about it. So there are four possibilities, a yellow, tan, white, and purple. So let's try to match and see. So if the ET tube is in the trachea, the color will be yellow. If it's poor perfusion, it will be tan. If it's a faulty detector, it will be white. If it's in the esophagus, it's, it remains purple. So the answer was, it's a faulty detector, damage detector, um, but not the other three. So this is an easy way to remember, you know, like I said, four color changes. Uh, and there's a very nice reference if you guys have time and you can pull this uh, on online. Uh, this is a very nice uh, slide presentation converted to PDF explain the different types of color changes with the CO2 detector. And so basically our aim is you start with purple and when you intubate you want it to change to yellow. These are the two colors you have to remember. In between, um, you know, like tan is probably poor perfusion and sometimes in premature babies you need at least six to seven breaths to see what's going on. Under CPR, you know, the color change is not that detectable. So just consider these conditions before uh, you made a plan of action. I hope this is a small presentation. Help, have a good day. Bye.